Van life isn't always about going on a stealth camp or getting out on a great adventure. Sometimes for me it's just getting in the van and away from everything. It's not always about gorgeous views outside. It's about enjoying my little space inside. The problem is sometimes all I see is unfinished jobs. Like the unfinished floor, like my ceiling that I need to finish off, wiring for the for the lights. So this year I'm going to make sure I get these jobs done. And one of the jobs that I need to finish, one of the big jobs that I need to finish, is my light leakage. Now I'm sure you would have seen this video where I finished my blinds and sort out the light leakage there. But there's also one more area where I get a huge amount of light leakage that I need to sort out. And if I turn the lights off, you'll see it straight away. At the side of the curtains, I get big light leakage. So I've opened up the blinds, get some light in here. It's nice when all the blinds are open. As my curtains run the full length at the top, the problem is as they drop down, the van gets wider. I did think about getting these remade wider, but that's gonna be a bit of a pig. They're not gonna hang proper. So my new plan is to put a fascia down there, which overlaps with the curtain. Problem solved. So it's gonna go about there. It's gonna go back there, it's gonna go into this seal so it'll have a nice loop finish. I've gotta draw this curve, which is where my fancy Dan, is it a compass comes in? Simple as, just scry this down there. Right, so I drew that edge and I've trimmed it. I've tidied this side up as well. So now it should just fit into that seal and hopefully fill the gap. So it's just tucked in that seal. I don't even know if I need to screw them in. So I've got a big overlap couple of inches. Nice. I thought about doing the same on that side and then I thought no maybe I'll just trace the template and there we go. So let me know in the comment folks do you like to just sit in your van or car and just chill not even on the camp? Let me know below. Right let's go make these out of wood. Let's draw these out. There we go. So I'm just going to jigsaw this wood. First I'm going to put some tape on just to try and get a cleaner edge. First one done. Now we're just gonna give a nice little sand on the edges. Sanding done. Now time for some carpet. So for carpeting, we're gonna need a few bits. We're gonna need some cardboard. We're gonna need a trimming board for when we're trimming the edges. You want a real sharp knife. I use a scalpel. Obviously the bits we're gonna carpet. Some trim fix adhesive and then carpet. wrap this around that edge. When I've glued this down both sides, I'm just gonna trim close because you're not gonna see that edge. There we go, it's all done. So that's the front edge. You can see it wraps around there, it's got a nice neat edge there. Where it's going to be in the seal, it can see it's just sandwiched together, but that don't matter. Job done. Now for the other one. Right, so I've waited till it's got dark, and then we can see if these really work. So that one's that side, and that one's for that side. So 
So it's gone all the way in. And it's gone all the way down. And that, and that feels pretty stable. And that looks quite smart. Just one done. Now this side. That side fits perfect as well. So it looks nice and neat now down the sides. So there's only one thing left to do. Let's go and do a light leak test outside. Used to be able to see it bang on from the front. Nothing. So my stealth micro camper is actually stealth. Success.